Well, what's up, Hell. man? Good to see you, brother. Hey. Right on, man. So, ready to do this thing? Yes. Right on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh well, um, before you know, I had had the uh, had the business, you know, my uh, health club. My, my fitness center. Um, I uh, also, you know, I have a son. I have a son now. Since the last time I was in Moscow, my son's uh, nine years old now. And um, I just been focusing a lot on family and business and, uh, you know, working on, um, working on my new, my new, uh, my new range, you know. So it's good to be back here in Moscow. I mean, so much has changed since 1997 and 1995. You know, things are so much better now. So it's good for me to be here, man. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to, uh, to you know, meeting all the fans, and um, I'm glad I'm here, man. No, because I mean, for me, I've always, um, I've always been interactive with my fans. You know, um, I have, you know, the YouTube channel, the Lavroni Report. Um, you know, I have uh, transformation. Yeah, <laughs> the transformation. So, for me, man, it's um, you know I'm I'm still active with uh, Muscular Development magazine. I still write for the for the articles in the magazine every month. You know, so uh, and I still go to um, all of the shows in America. You know, the Mr. Olympia. I go there every year, and um, you know, always show show the support, give the support my support. You know. Ну что ж, друзья, мы в зале, начинаем тренировку ног. Okay, so, all right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show Andre a few tricks for the legs, which is very important. Actually, man, these were uh, some things that I would do, like when I would get ready for the Mr. Olympia, you know, and um, these are tricks that I would do getting ready for the Mr. Olympia, you know, on leg days. You know, it's very important how you position your legs. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of guys just think that, you know, you can go in the gym and squat. But there's certain ways that you put your foot, you know, to target the muscle groups. So that's what we're going to go through today. Насколько я знаю, ты всегда старался приседать с узкой постановкой ног для того, чтобы развить максимально свои ноги по бокам, да, потому что проблема с внутренней частью у тебя никогда не было. Также ты сейчас придерживаешься этого. He knows a lot about me. <laughs> so, let's go. Let me um, let me show you a position, okay? This position where come on up, where his feet is is a um, very natural position because as you walk, you people walk, they don't walk straight like this. They walk with their feet turned. So you see how his feet feet are like this, the toes are slightly turned out. This is very important. And then also, as he's squatting, come down. He's coming down to where his hamstrings are touching his calves. You know, come on down again. You see, there's no room in between. Okay? That's very good. So, I want to show you one more time. Do it one more time. You should have that. Yeah. Может быть, с весом добавим? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. How much you want to put? Is this okay? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys out there the wrong way to do squats. Okay? This is this is the way that I don't recommend. See, when you squat like this, it puts more stress on the knees. This uh -huh. is the wrong way. Uh -huh. This way is the right way. Um, for me, for me, this was, uh, you know, when I was really, really big mm -hmm. and uh, massive, 
I, I could not touch the back of my head, you know, because <laughs> my shoulders were so big and my traps, uh -huh. I could not touch this. So I could not grab the bar like this. Mm -hmm. So I had to go like this, mm -hmm. you know. This is the only way that I could balance it because my delts and my traps were so big, I could not go like this. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yeah, so you can actually see how far he's going down. And if you come to the side and you look at the side view, you'll be able to see he's going all the way till his hamstring touches his calves. And also as he's going down, he's inhaling and ex exhaling, you know? You're, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, for, for me, for me, I always come all the way up mm -hmm. and go all the way down, uh -huh. for me. I've always did a uh, full range of movements. Mm -hmm. you know, never, never half, you know? Some guys bench press like this. For me, it's always, you know, same uh -huh. thing with squats, uh -huh. you know? All the way down, all the way up. Um, for me, it all depends. Like, uh, for when I want to put on size, I would do six to eight reps, but real, real heavy, you know, mm -hmm. maybe two, three, four, five, six, up to 600 pounds, mm -hmm. you know, really, really heavy. Um, if I just wanted to come in the gym and have a really, really intense, uh, high intense workout, mm -hmm. then I would do uh, four sets of 20, 20 reps, mm -hmm. you know, 20 reps nonstop, 20 reps, four sets of 20, maybe with like 60 seconds of rest in between. Mm -hmm. So different days, I would just shock the muscle, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe you, everybody's different, you know. For me, I always go in the gym. However I feel, that's how I work out. You know, uh, there's no really set way to saying, uh, I always just like to change. I, I, I like to challenge myself in the gym and I always like to just, how I feel. Some days you feel stronger than other days. Some days you want to try things different, you know. So for me, I've always went in the gym and depending on how I was feeling that day would determine how much weight I would use. Oh, Kevin Leroni cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, for me, I mean, I worked out hard, you know, don't get me wrong. I worked out hard, but, um, you know, also, um, you know, when, when you're in shape for a competition, I always got in shape for a show, you know, early, two weeks before the show. And sometimes it takes these guys so long to get ready for a show. So for me, you know, when I was already in ready for the show and I was already uh, in shape, you know, I want to have some fun, you know, the day of the show and, and while the show was going on. So, you know, I could afford to do that, you know, to where a lot of these guys, they can't, you know, they have to be strict all the time. So, I mean, it, it, it kind of helped me uh, have a long, you know, a long career. So it worked out. Well, I think, um, you know, for me, it only makes sense to, when you train your chest, you're already having the blood in the shoulders and you're already having the blood in the triceps. And the whole thing about working out and training is, is about bringing the blood to the muscles. So the more blood you can bring to that muscle, uh, the quicker response and the more development you're going to get. So chest is a, is a pushing muscle, shoulders is a pushing muscle, and also triceps is a pushing muscle. So for me, it only makes sense that if I'm already using my pushing muscles to do chest, so I might as well go ahead and, and do the triceps and do the, the shoulders too, all in the same time. Because the blood, and I'm already using those muscles, the blood is already in the area. So those muscles are already being worked. And that's the whole point of training is being able to uh, work those muscle groups and parts together. And that's how I was able to be able to uh, gain, 
you know, uh, three pounds of muscle a week. And it, it would only take me uh, three months or four months to get ready for Mr. Olympia to where it would take the rest of the guys maybe the whole year. Well, I mean, the only thing I could do is just tell him to try. Try going and try working out, you know, uh, with, with um, the way, you know, that, that I would do it. You know, 16 sets per body part. You know, 16 sets per body part will break down any muscle. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> uh, 60 seconds in between sets, you know? 60 uh, seconds, you know, okay. two minutes in between. Boom, 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 relax, 60 seconds, go again. You know, it's very, you know, no time for talking. Okay. Kevin? Yeah, what we're gonna do here is, uh, I'm gonna show him some different, uh, again, different foot positions because it's very, very important. You know, as you can see, man, you got some awesome quads. Let me see your quads. <laughs> He's got some monstrous quads, okay? So the whole point of doing hack squats is actually, yeah, let me see the quads again. Mm -hmm. When we do the hack squats, it's gonna hit the outer teardrop. Right here, boom. Okay, massive. So let's get down to it, brother. All right, so you wanna go first? I'll show you. Yeah, so what we have right here is if you have your feet in this position, straight, like this, mm -hmm. okay? This? You're right. Uh, it's, yeah, you wanna, yeah, squat down. Yeah, do, do one rep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come down. What we're gonna do with these feet straight like this, it's hitting the outer quad. Okay, it's hitting the outer sweep here. With your feet straight, okay? So as you can see, he's going to do like six to eight reps. Cool. Uh, что, что касается uh, носков, стоит ли делать, uh, если ты помнишь, Том uh, Плац, uh, он делал yeah. вот так. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Да, и у него были не самые худшие ноги. <laughs> yeah. uh, что ты считаешь по этому поводу? Yeah. Straight. You know, training for the Olympia, I, I would do this to hit the outer parts of the, mm -hmm. of the, uh, of, uh-huh, okay, mm -hmm. then this is a different one, mm -hmm. this right here hits more of, okay, the teardrop, mm -hmm. the outer teardrop, and you also want to make sure you go all the way down. All the way down. Mm -hmm. Now, some guys move your feet out even more. This is a duck squat. What this does, it brings more of your hamstrings mm -hmm. and the glutes yes. into the area. Okay? All the way down, like this. Okay? <coughs> so you have. Хорошо. Ты показал. Uh, несколько постановок ног uh, в зависимости от целей. Либо это внешняя часть бедра, либо это внутренняя часть бедра, либо это ягодичные. Uh, ты, как правило, uh, в какой твоя любимая стойка, в какой ты обычно делал? All three. Yeah. Okay. So you want to try? Mm -hmm. И что касается повторений в, в этом упражнении, здесь, я так понимаю, несколько больше, чем в приседе. То есть здесь ты работал 15, может быть, 20 повторений. No, for, for here, for me, I would do a six to eight. Mm -hmm. Heavy. Heavy. Yeah, heavy. Always heavy. Uh, еще такой вопрос. Uh, не испытывал ли ты никогда проблем с коленями? Потому что все, кто, все приверженцы больших весов рано или поздно чувствуют дискомфорт в этой области. No. No. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no problem with knees. No problem with hips. Uh -huh. You know. <laughs> Мне кажется, твой секрет в том, что ты долго дыхал. Yeah. So you know, the foot position is straight. 
You want to try to turn it out some? This. Yeah. Now, it's more hamstrings. Bam. And glutes. Okay? And you see how low he's going. He's going down really, really low. And he's inhaling and breathing. When you breathe like that, you bring the oxygen into the muscles. Gives you more of a pump. Yeah. 